after that, I did a lot of shadowing and internships in uh, NYU Langone, um, Long Island Jewish, uh, all these hospitals out there. And as I was interning, every doctor I spoke to was like, kid, you're going to want to kill yourself <laughs> if you become a doctor. <laughs> And I was like, really? They're like, like they're, don't do this. They're like, you could spend all your time doing something so much better. Like, if you, if, because, like, listen, if you're going to devote that much time into something, like the way they do, some of the best of our society devote 80, 90, 100, 110 hours a week mm-hmm. into study, <clears throat> excuse me, studying all this stuff. Their message to me was like, if you took that 100 hours a week, and put it into something else, not only are you going to make more money, you're going to be much more happier. Like, please don't do this. <laughs> That's what so, they told you? Yeah. Every, like, 90%, 90% of them did. 10% of them were like, this is my passion, and I love it, and I can do this every day of my life. They were superhuman, though. Like, they they would be sitting there after every surgery, like, talking to the parents, to the children. Like, they were superheroes. Most people who go to get into it aren't like that. Mm-hmm. And I had much more in common with the percent that was like, I hate my life. Don't do this. You know what I mean? That's amazing, bro. Yeah, Cause I was talking to my, I was talking to my cousin yesterday for like 45 minutes, 50 minutes. And she's like, I hate being a nurse. And she just became a nurse like two it's years not ago. Easy, bro. She was like, I lost passion for everything. Yeah. Like I'm just trying to get a cushy desk job at the moment, transition careers. Yeah. And she was like, no one ever told me that studying nursing was totally different than actually being a nurse. Bro, straight up. And then when she was a nurse like assistant during college, like they they hid so much of what nurses mm. actually do. Yeah. Bro, it is yeah. a grind. It is a it is a never ending grind. That, that's what everyone out there is like they're all doing Adderall. Like they can't stay up. They can't do seven shifts in a row normally. You know, it's it's very difficult. It's it's an entire grind. So after watching all that, I was just like, okay, let me just take a little bit to make sure this is what I want to do. I just took the MCAT. I was thinking about maybe going back to medical school just for the for the gaff for the goof. Mm-hmm. But, but like at least getting it. Now, so then if I decide, like, yo, once you made it financially, mm. okay, now you could go back and if you enjoy this, you could do it all over the world, you know? Yeah. Something like that. You took the MCAT recently? Yeah, yeah. What the hell? It, it, I was miserable, miserable. How did you do? I did good. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, you got your results Were you back? studying yeah. for it or? yeah, yeah. Okay. I study for it. Yeah, I didn't take it wrong. Oh, <laughs> bro, what the no, heck? That's what it sounded, it sounded like. You just took it. No, 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 no. I studied for like three months. How did How did you do? Five fifteen, you good? Out of what? Out of what? Yeah. It's a I don't know. It's out of five twenty six. It's on a scale. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're freaking. So angry. is that like good enough to get back into? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I could go. I could go. Uh, that's I'm thinking about <laughs> applying like this year just to see if I get in. Uh uh-huh. And then, but I don't know. So this was like I got so many opportunities in real estate. So I'd, I'd much rather make passive income in real estate. Mm-hmm. And then think about that. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it, I think back in the day, like in the 1800s, before you did anything, you'd establish, establish a passive income. Because this now, okay, you got $100,000 coming in. Now you can pursue what you're passionate about. You know what I mean? First mm-hmm. build the money mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. do your and then passions. Follow. So do you think when you were um, interning in all these hospitals, mm-hmm. like why do you think all these – well? According to you, 90% of the doctors were like, don't do this. Because it's not a good uh, life work balance. It's They're okay. working eight, you know, 18 hours a day a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, they barely see their family. They're getting paid good, but if they, if these people are geniuses, if they would have just took 150 hours a, a day, you know, 150 hours a week to do real estate, mm-hmm. they'd be far surpassing us. You know, they're, they're, they're genius. Some of the smartest people I've ever met. Mm-hmm. but uh, that's why they're always like do anything else if you have the brain to do this just put it into any other industry <laughs> and work just as hard and you will be a millionaire no matter what and you won't have to sit over an operating table for 10 hours a day mm-hmm. you know so how could how do you think that you could do medicine but on your own terms that would give you that work-life balance that you would love it i don't know so i i, I would imagine then 
that I would have to do commit six years to training then. After that, then I would travel. I would love to travel like places in uh, Egypt and Yemen and Syria, like places where the population is all screwed up and just stay there and like, you know, if people need to like live there, help people, mm -hmm. you know, but you're still making your passive income. Mm -hmm. So I don't got to worry about like my family or anything like that. I think that would be my ideal life, you know, something like that. Why 250? Um, 250 is a good number because I think because I grew up in Long Island, like I think 200,000 is like the absolute minimum a year you need to live comfortably. Yeah. So 250 just gives you a little more. It's like if you move to any other expensive spot in the entire world, like whether you were in Singapore or you were yeah. in, uh, what's the Vatican or whatever, yeah, you, yeah, just, yeah. you just hang out here, you want to hang out here. It's like, just because money is an issue you don't yeah. want that to stop you from being able to experience whatever yeah. you want to experience 100%. but then like money wouldn't be that big of an issue if you were living in egypt and it's like 100%. literally 500 dollars an entire month for food and housing yeah right? no 100 percent, 100 percent. i don't want money to be an issue at all mm. you know yeah like and that's the whole goal of real estate right like we're all the same with that like it's not really about money it's just about like lifestyle yeah money of course is very important but we want it to just be a non-factor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 